All right, welcome to Two Woke Boys. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke, woke boys. boys. I believe I forgot to say welcome to episode 121 of the Two Woke Boys, but welcome to episode 121. We're here in the studio, ripping it up. It's November. No, not November. Well, for some people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You are not participating. I mean, in some no, people not. are nonstop nutting November. Right. That's that's what the boys are doing. Yeah. Well, maybe that's... Are you no nut November? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Is it like so, on purpose or because you're not with getting in chicks right now? The second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But actually... But that's actually... No, but it's, you, it's important to not say that, though. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, so I actually I take back what I just yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. It's by choice. It is by choice yeah. because you you could choose to nut on a chick with right. her consent, of Ooh, course. Yeah, yeah. But you could also not nut and then be a hero because everybody's doing that. Right, yeah. and and I do have a lot of pent up anger yeah. and, and rage and. A lot of, let's just say my apartment has a lot of new Slipknot posters all over the yeah, wall. Yeah, there's a lot of new posters in there. Yeah, a lot yeah. of posters. You yeah. can't, there's no wall space left. <laughs> yeah. It's just all posters. Yeah, you, technically your apartment is wallpapered, but it's only with Slipknot posters. Yes. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good look. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of various heights. Right. Scotch tape on the walls. Yeah. Yeah. All within kind of arm's reach of my mm. fist. Yeah. Sometimes, the, sometimes like kind of sitting, like if you're like near your yeah. chair, you know? Yeah. Your one chair in your apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Or sometimes uh, the height of like a jumping punch, like a. Oh, you do one like of those? A, <laughs> like a Dragon Ball Z, just. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you charge up before you do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. You go. <gasps> And then your eyes get all big, and, right. and then like the earth goes fast behind you for some reason. Yes. But you're still, and then you sail in the air, and then yeah. right into the wall. That's right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so I am doing no not November, but I would be willing to break it for the right woman. Mm -hmm. So if you are a woman out there who's intrigued by the fact that I am saving myself for the month, and you want to be the lucky lady to receive my nut nut yeah <laughs> yeah with with your consent with, with her consent yeah. Yeah, yeah hit me up in my dms and let's have a dialogue and obviously you got to have a public instagram profile or send me fucking pictures of you we've been over this it's mm -hmm. not that hard yeah i i'm not gonna like i just got a message today from mm -hmm. from this uh from this girl who's like who yeah who i private account and she was like hey cole why, why private yeah she's like hey cole i love your poetry just letting you know that like i'm a big fan of your poetry all i've got to go off of is this little mm. profile picture is, is it a like is it a good pick though it's a decent pick but it's like skin uh, skin tight clothes or bikini it's pick a face a face pick just so, so no body oh, okay. yeah what the fuck yeah it's yeah. not a good yeah that's not a good Picture. No, no, but I mean, it's it's look, like she she's cute, so it's like that's a good picture, right? But, but there's a lot more to the story, yeah, that it yeah. needs to be told. Mm -hmm. And then, so so, what am I supposed to do, right? Do do I follow her? Well, you got to accept you gotta, the gotta, follow, well, and then if she's the not hot, you got to do the zoom screenshot, in. zoom in. Yeah, but that's not, but still, but still not it, just everything. a face pic but is not you, enough. Well, then you got to do like a little Instagram search. You go online, you type their name in Google. Oh, reverse then, image search. Yeah, yeah. You do the reverse image search. Then you find, try to find pictures that are public. You know, maybe check her on Facebook. Yeah. One of those. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can find her address. Maybe just drive by her place late okay. at night. Yeah, I know. don't know if I want to go that far. Yeah. But you know, I mean, you don't have to. Some yeah. people are more thorough than other people. Okay. You know? But you are, know, are like, those people you? I, I mean, I like to do a thorough check. Yeah. You know, like kind of like a like a detective level kind of check. Oh, you know? Okay. Like uh, is that like that guy Mike from uh, Breaking Bad. Right. You know, Mike Ehrman yeah, Trout. Just kind of yeah. like sitting in a car, like just outside of your apartment, just kind of chilling. Just kind of watching. Yeah. yeah. Just waiting for something to go down. And, you know, 
I, you know, I'll go in, maybe scope the place out while you're at work. You know, make sure you have a safe place that you're living in there. Okay. And I might put like you know a couple of microphones in there, and like a camera or two, and right. You know, just make sure. So just to make sure you're safe. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Okay. And I mean, it sounds a little illegal, with, but with my. Well, I mean, I'm. I'm providing security. Right. I do security sometimes. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I know you. It's would. like on. Like, uh, what's it called? Undercover security. Yeah, yeah. And I the people that I'm doing security for, they don't even know I'm doing it. Right. I know that's a day job of yours. You, mm -hmm. like, go in. Or not a, not a job, but a, a passion of yours. You install security cameras mm -hmm. in women's homes. Yeah. And you're thinking about yeah. getting a job doing it also. Yeah. It's hard to get a job doing it because the people you're doing it for, they probably wouldn't pay you to do it. For sure, yeah. They would be like, you can't do that. Yeah, right. And then it's like, well, I'm definitely going to do it, so... Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I don't know if you should be admitting to all this activity yeah. well, I mean, on the well, air to it's, our huge it's, audience. It's but. about security right. and safety. Because, like, if if no one's watching you, how do you know you're safe? I got your back. And you may not know about it, but I'm there. So what would you do if, like, let's say some other guy comes in there and then you see them start to hook up inside and everything's consensual and cool and she's uh -huh. safe but she's just hooking up with it with another guy. i don't think what it would, would you... be consensual or safe you know it doesn't seem like that's because i don't approve what so if she literally... i actually don't consent to that going on so what that's she... actually not consent what if she literally said to the microphone that you installed mm -hmm. i consent to the sex the, that's the sex currently that happening am, okay happening that would be man. really I, I would think maybe he's forcing her to say that. Okay. And then, once again, also, I don't consent, so I have a problem with it. I'm going to have to go in there and be like, um, stop. You She's going to be like, ah, Actually, what the hell I'll are do, you? I'll come on in a God mic that I did install in her apartment also. Okay. I'll be like, can you stop, please? And then they'll be like, what the fuck was that? And I'll be like, yeah. If you could. And then I have the, hey, bitch, why do you see my dick? I have that plan in there. <laughs> that was not the one I was intending, but it worked. But it, it applies. It did work, yeah. you know. But I do have the soundboard installed. That's what I also right. do. I install security, cameras, audio, God mic that I can talk to whenever I want, and then also direct route to the soundboard. Yeah. And I might have to come over there and, you know. <laughs> right. Because that guy might be the wall, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, his fight, his face he, might yeah. be the wall, mm -hmm. and there will not be a poster on no. the wall afterwards. He'll just have to deal with, you know, whatever the consequences yeah. of his actions, mm -hmm. which was consensually consensually hooking up with probably a woman his that, girlfriend, but probably or, girlfriend or wife. Or wife. Or, yeah. yeah, but either way, it's not cool not acceptable like to the, you. Well, yeah, and it's like he's patriarchally. Like, oh, I own you. Oh, you're my girlfriend. Yeah. You're my girlfriend. You can so only be with me. You can me. only be with me. And if you talk to any other guys, that's not okay. Because you're okay. my property. Yeah. I own you. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna come home and, and, yeah, with and you're my, gonna make me a sandwich. Yeah, well, and, I'm gonna come uh, home with my briefcase yeah. and, and put it down and say, Hey uh, bitch, what's for dinner? Yeah, tough day at work. Draw my yeah. bath. Right. Yeah. And pour me, pour me some wine and make me steak. Yeah, and because I know and you've been put your apron on. Yeah, and and, and you've been home and clean all the day. House. You've been home all day because you're just my a housewife. You're just a housewife. Yeah, and I'm the the big strong husband working man. Mm -hmm. And I and I I'm the breadwinner here in this family. Yeah, I provide all the finances, and you take care of the home. And I come and I and I'll pay for. Oh, want to go on a trip, babe? Want to go on a trip? I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. And a trip should be fifty-fifty. The woman picks the spot, and the man pays for it. That's a is that a thing? That's something that I saw that Edward Mar Martirosian guy post on who's TikTok. Oh, that's the, the that's guy. that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll we'll get to it. We'll, we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. There's we could have a whole episode about that guy. But yeah. um yeah, so I so I didn't mean to get too carried away with it's okay. I mean with that, but we we are passionate boys. We are just 
we, so we care so much. Passionate. You know? That's why we've installed cameras in your house, and yeah. we'll go over there and be like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" And then they'll actually be like, "We were saying that about you." Like, then the girl might be like, "I did I see you at the grocery store earlier?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, maybe." Yeah, we had a connection. Yeah, this is all alleged. Yeah, uh, these yeah, actions. Of course, yeah. yeah, this has not been proven in no, a court of law. These are not. Yeah, and if it does go to court, your father will use his mm -hmm. extensive connections, connections to yeah. get you off scot free. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so it's no nut November. Also, Thanksgiving is happening this yeah. week. Huge holiday for you to go and really just lay into your family with yes. your pol political opinions. You yes, know? that's that's the most important thing about Thanksgiving. You know, it's about going home, sitting with family, and just fucking screaming at them about who they voted for. That's right. That's the most important thing to do. Right. Right? Right before you go home, get a fresh dye job on your hair, make it as purple or green as possible, mm -hmm. and then really just fucking, you know, try to... St if you can steer any conversation into politics, or maybe you have a family member that is that person, like, they somehow manage to maneuver every you know, conversation into that. You're like, oh, uh, the sandwich has mayonnaise on it. Pff, mayonnaise is expensive. You know whose fault that is? And then, you know, you go into that and... Right. You know, and you're like, wow, how did we get here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's important to to make everything political around Thanksgiving and <clears throat> and not... Uh, and, you know, the people want to whitewash the, the history of, oh, oh, there was... There was a peace, peaceful, harmonious dinner with with the pilgrims mm. and the natives. Yeah, there was also a genocide. Uh, much. They killed them. Yeah, yeah. We live on stolen land. Yeah. So if yeah, we should do a, a land acknowledgement. Yeah. We acknowledge that this land was Indians, but you can't fucking have it back. It's ours now. Okay. But we're sorry. Right. Yeah. Sorry about that. But go fuck yourself, dude. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And if you yeah. try to take your land back, yeah. you you don't know. You got yeah. another thing coming. Yeah. Cuz yeah. we got more gunpowder than yeah. the fucking Sorry, your pilgrims. arrows aren't your arrows don't have the range that my AR15 does. Yeah. All right. And again, we don't like guns and yeah, guns, guns are, are bad, bad but, but except yeah, for the ones uh, that we have, the, which yeah. is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so so we will not let people whitewash the genocidal history of Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and it's not about a time to give thanks and be spend time around family and friends and and be thankful for the things you have in life. No, it's a time to be angry mm -hmm. and political yeah. and Charged. yell at yes, and yell at your older mm -hmm. parents and yeah. relatives for not caring about mm -hmm. the the horrible history of yeah. this holiday yeah and any of the tvs like if you if you go visit your family like let's say they got a tv and they still have cable make sure you flip it to you know cnn if they're a fox news family and then maybe the other way if they're the other way you know mm -hmm. just get that going you know yeah it's, you know it's basically like throwing a fucking gasoline on a fire yes you know? yeah yeah. And that's what we plan on doing for our Thanksgiving dinners. No, we have not been invited to our families, but we'll, we'll be we'll, showing we'll up. We'll be there. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. We'll be showing don't, up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, oh, and, we, all, and we're not bringing anything. No. 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 We might bring canned goods, but we'll bring them because we have to throw them through the window to get into the house. Yeah. You know what we're going to bring? What? Good points. Yeah. Good so, points are common. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, and you can't you can't put a price on that. You can't buy good points at the grocery store. You certainly can't. I don't say I don't think also, they sell that at Whole Foods. No, but we are there at Whole Foods, also giving out good points. Yes, we're like the Salvation Army, except we're not taking donations. We're donating good points. That's right. And we we are ringing a bell, right? And dressed like a Santa Claus. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and the donations go hundred percent to, to sluts. Yeah. 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 For the slut fund, right? Which also, if you want to donate to that, that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, we hope your you or your family are not doing the football thing on Thanksgiving, watching watching some football. Yeah. Oh, we oh, just the, we just ate a bunch of turkey. Uh, let's, let's nap on the couch sit down and watch on the, couch and the watch pigskin football. game yeah. and 
watch a white quarterback throw a ball to, to a, black a black receiver, receiver who's and really then, fast. And then watch him get just fucking lit up by, yeah, and by a no linebacker. Call. No, no, yeah, no call, but but there's but, roughing oh the passer. Oh, my God, somebody uh, on, sneezed on the near the quarterback, yeah, so you gotta, it's gotta pass protect interference. The quarterback. Yeah, yeah and, and then and, kick that guy out of the game. Yeah, and and, and then during the game, there's always the Cowboys got to play, right? Because oh, they're yeah, America's, the, team, America's team. The Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys yeah. you know, why is that not, like, the Cowboys? That's the people that killed all the Indians. Yeah, exactly. And, and they got to play, and then the Detroit Lions got to play every Thanksgiving, yeah. too. Because for some reason, that's tradition. Wait, is that a... so? Yeah, both those just, teams play on Thanksgiving. Do they just play each other? other? No, they play other teams, but I... Uh, I don't know why, but but yeah, those teams got to play. Yeah, we yeah. got to have three or four games on Thanksgiving. First one starting at at 10 a.m. and then the last one being at at 8 p.m. So just the whole day, there's a football game going on. And, oh, touchdown! Oh, he scored the ball. He ran the ball into. Oh, the, let's oh. Go. We got to review the play. Oh, All the yeah, rest and, are going to oh, watch fumble, TV now. Fumble. Oh, recovered oh, by yeah, the, the same big team. Fat lineman just it jump fell on, on the ball. It. Yeah. Oh, fine. And, and then and in the then the the uh, we got to redo the play. We got yeah, yeah. We got to the play's got to happen again. And, yeah. Uh, 15 yards. 15 yard penalty. Yeah. And then eat some turkey and take a nap. And then watch watch the next game and oh my fantasy team how's your fantasy team doing yeah, oh, bro I gotta, oh I gotta do some subs oh let me let me just oh, let me put a li- make a lineup of men who who play football and then to see how many points they get oh bro my team got more points than yours so I know more about football than you so I am more manly than you and then I get more bragging rights amongst our group of ten high school friends because i know the most about football so and, and we each pool 20 bucks we each pool 20 bucks in the league and then the winner takes home 200 but that that totally justifies the thousands of hours we put in during the season to, to research the fantasy football team hey won my fantasy oh you got last place in fantasy bro yeah you're, you the, got last you're the you're the pussy yeah, you got yeah. last place oh we gotta have a punishment for you right yeah we go oh, oh you gotta run naked yeah, around yeah, the neighborhood yeah. even though it's just dudes and that's maybe pretty you gotta gay. spend 24 hours in an ihop right and you can't leave right so you yeah. have a, a one-day prison sentence or maybe you have to take the SATs. You heard that one? You have to go to high school that's, and take the SATs. Wait, is that that's a punishment? Yeah, that's a, a punishment for the last place football. Oh, maybe you got to do stand up comedy for the first time. Yeah. You heard that one? No. You got to go do five yeah. minutes. You got to go do five minutes. Well, guess what? We're sick of that shit. So don't fucking do that. All of that. Yeah, so every I every one of those things. I that feel we a little lightheaded yeah. and like yeah. I'm about to pass out at any yeah. second. So you might have to do the rest okay. of the podcast <laughs> yeah. yourself. Yeah. But yeah, we don't. Bottom line is this: we don't Thanksgiving like Thanksgiving or football yeah. Yeah. or any. Plus, of that we, stuff. we also are. Uh, we have a dietary restriction that we're going to make a very public announcement. Yes, as we're being served food that we didn't tell you until it's too late. Right. Oh, is that turkey you're eating? Well, that's fucked up. Yeah. We have our tofurkey here. Yeah, I'm actually uh, vegan. Yeah. You know? And they're like, why they're like, are you I eating? I get a cheeseburger? And they're like, that's not yeah. vegan. I'm like, right. well, I'm, tur- like, why? I'm turkey vegan. Right. I don't eat turkey. Yeah, and they're like, is like, that just because you don't like turkey and you prefer to have I just don't really want a any cheeseburger right now. with fries and yeah. ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have a very refined yeah. and mature palate. Yeah. yeah, I'm eating. Cr- yeah, they made mac and cheese. I'm like, this isn't craft mac and cheese. What the right. fuck is this bullshit? Right. You know? Yeah. They're like, uh, what, what do you want? Like, you don't have SpaghettiOs, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have a very mature and refined mm-hmm. palate. Yeah. And-, and I'll be like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take my Capri Sun and go in my room. You know? I'm, I'm sick of having this argument with my family i'm gonna take my right. high c ecto cooler and get the fuck out of here yeah yeah and they're gonna hear just fallout boy yeah, <laughs> from, yeah. from the, the oh, upstairs yeah. level yeah dude, i'm just gonna be ripping fallout boy dude yeah 
I don't have a Fallout Boy sound, but yeah. that's pretty. That's close. Yeah. You know? Yeah, close enough. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're not looking forward to Thanksgiving. I mean, we are looking forward to Thanksgiving to like ruining it for everyone else. Yeah. And that's that's your job. If you're listening to this podcast, that you need to take it upon yourself to ruin your family's yeah. Thanksgiving. You, you want your make dinner, it a living hell for them. You want your dinner table at Thanksgiving to be like that of the table of a Bill Maher taping. Yes. That's what you want. You want that going on. That's the energy you want at your family's table. Right. 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 It's like someone makes a comment that like, oh, like I love these these sweet mm. potatoes. You're like, hmm, sweet potatoes. Let's Interesting. Let's talk about Palestine. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right. And yeah. then like look look to the <laughs> yeah. and then look into the camera and then like hold for applause, mm. like wait for the audience. Yeah. And they're like, where is this? Yeah. Where's this applause track coming from? Yeah, you know, like, oh, we'll bring like an applause. Well, we need an applause sound on here. Do we not have that? No, I guess we don't. That's yeah. all right. Or just we might just pay some audience. Well, because I mean, studio well, that's what like yeah. Bill Maher. Like, do you ever like watch his his monologues and you'll hear these people like just laughing to the point where it's like, all right, you're. Clearly, mm. like this, this is not. Have you ever real. been to like a show taping? Not, not, not a Bill show Mar, like but, that. Yeah, but I, yeah, like they have like a guy like in paid the laughers, right? Yeah, but they they have like a the the audience. There's like an audience pump guy. So the like the guy like has like a sign, a sign, like, yeah. Hey, fucking cheer, let's go, yeah. yeah, and they yeah, and sometimes they'll do like comedy like things on a show, and it's like taped. And then they'll be like, oh, cut. We didn't get it. So then the guy's got to do the exact same joke again. Yeah, I have been to yeah. a sitcom taping before. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Where they, yeah. So the first like time, the, the first time it gets a genuine laugh. Yeah. It's but like then they have to funny. do the same scene yeah. five times. And then you watch the actor just like kind of lose a little bit of his soul, right. like having to do the line again. Right. Especially if he's like an like overweight comic and the joke is like, I'm fat, you know? And then it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Cut. We didn't. We didn't get the you're fat thing. We got to do it again. Right. Just say you're fat again, real quick. And right. And then, uh, then he's like, "I'm fat." And then, woo! Audience goes nuts. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So yeah, have a terrible Thanksgiving. Hope you ruin it for your family. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bad news, the Cheeto is back on Twitter. This is Elon Musk is has reinstated to... Trump's account, and it's definitely not the funniest account to ever be on Twitter. The, the Trump, Trump is definitely not. It's not the, the, the most Twitter yeah. goat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's it's, not number one. No, no, no. He is dangerous. He is and dangerous. He, is he tweets. In, Bad stuff, and he is inciting violence. Mm -hmm. He and, misspells coffee sometimes, right? Remember that? Yeah, and it was like Kofefe, yeah, yeah. Kofefe or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was just that was we dunked on him when that happened. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we oh, got typo. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, you're a dumb. How he president. capitalizes random words that mm -hmm. shouldn't be capitalized that yeah. aren't proper nouns. Yeah, fucking idiot. Yeah, fat orange. Piece, of, Piece shit, of shit, Cheeto, fake hair, fuck ass, fat, bitch, diabetes, stupid big, McDonald's, fat, piece of shit, McDonald's, suck. chugging, fat, fuck, tub of lard, mm -hmm. orangutan, orange. orange, fat, obese, Cheeto, yeah. piece of shit, yeah, orange monkey, Cheeto, bitch, mm -hmm. fat, fuck, yeah. Anyway, um, we really support body positivity, yeah, and it's important that to remember that all bodies mm -hmm. are beautiful, and uh -huh. you should never criticize anyone for, for their, their shape body. or size mm -hmm. or their body, except yeah. for that fat fuck. Yeah, we ate that tiny penis old with that small mushroom yeah. penis. That's yeah. what Stormy Daniels said, right? That yeah. is, isn't that kind of like what a penis typically looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of mushroomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would well, the, the the people that were coming out about, about uh, the Harvey Weinstein said he had an egg shaped penis. <laughs> God, you see that? It's just I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I, I don't either. Like, how does that work? I don't know. Yeah, but how do you have an egg dong? I'm not sure. Yeah, 
Yeah. But yeah. anyway, yeah, the Cheeto's back on Twitter. He hasn't tweeted yet since his reinstatement, but I was so I was wondering like, did he even want so he started this whole truth he social truth, yeah. Because th- the whole thing was starting that because he got kicked off Twitter. Yeah. Right. So now that he's back on Twitter, is that gonna be the end of I think he's truth prob- social? Well, he's just I'm assuming it's gonna be one of those like you know, it's like being like a TikTok star that should I do Instagram? Like, yeah, of course. Right, right, you right. Know? He's going to have that also. Right. He's just going to be like, yo, if you like that fucked up tweet, check out the truth. I'm dropping right. truths. Right. Maybe he's just going to promote that channel, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Be sure to like and subscribe and share with all your friends and click the bell truth for post is better. notifications. It's a better program. If you want truth, you're going to have to go to you're Truth have Social. To, yeah. uh, uh, Twitter's eight bucks a month. What about nine uh, for the truth? Uh, we'll raise the price. You gotta pray, pay extra for the truth. Right, you gotta pay for the truth. God, we fucking hate that. Ch- and we definitely don't hope he went. So he's running again. Mm-hmm. I mean, we forgot to mention that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He announced he's running in 2024. But we are sitting back and eating our popcorn because mm-hmm. there is this kind of civil war in the Republican Party mm-hmm. with the Cheeto. And then there's Ron DeSantis. Yeah, he's and calling him Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis, yeah. Which is shocking that yeah. he even knew that word. Yeah. yeah. Right? With his dumb little vocabulary. I do. Uh, it is funny that he comes up with nicknames for people. Right. That's pretty funny. Yeah. It's like very, like, seventh grade of right. him, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ron DeSuckass. Okay. Sure. Right. Hillary Cunton, how about that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, They're very, it, like, sophomoric, sleepy Joe. Right. Dude, if you call him sloppy Joe, that'd be Lion sick. Ted. And, yeah. 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 Yeah, he just brands everyone. And we are just sitting, like I said, we're sitting back with our popcorn, mm-hmm. just letting these two guys just tear each other apart. Yeah. And Is Ron DeSantis kind of saying anything? He's not saying, he hasn't. He hasn't really... No, he's yeah. From what I read, out of it. yeah. From what I read, he's he wants Trump to kind of like self implode, mm. and that and he doesn't want to like come out swinging and because that's he, usually how you get dunked on by Trump, right? Is you're like you suck, Trump, and then he's like you're gay, you're fat, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're you're fat and gay, right? Yeah, yeah, and then he he somehow just annihilates you in the like it's like the uh he counter punches that's what he does right you think he's gonna come out mean because everybody that's what everybody says about him and he's fine he's like it's very wonderful to be here it's very nice it's very good what a great time and you're coming in with this fuck that guy you know right then they say one mean thing about him and he's like you're actually retarded you know right and then you know yeah or he might even just bring the heat at someone that's not even there like he did Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, right. That was definitely not the most hilarious thing ever. No. Yeah. So, yeah, Cheeto's back. We hope he loses. And although, yeah, I don't know. We... Do we what want, do what do yeah, what do people want? Do they want him to... Do we to, want Biden do to... want him to win so that he loses... Or what, what are they, what I don't are they know. thinking? I don't know. But we want Kamala yeah. to take Biden's place because mm. she deserves it. I mean, look at all of her accomplishments. It is, she is she's a woman. She's black. She's uh, black. And, uh, and, and she's a black woman. Yeah. Um, she. Uh, she's the vice president. Mm-hmm. That's and, a, the first black woman vice president. Yeah. Yep. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. And um uh I'm speaking. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's so yeah, yeah. So we think she's she's good. All right. And if you don't vote for her, you ain't black. All right. That's right. That's yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we hope Kamala takes Biden's place and beats we want you know what Is we it, want the Cheeto to win the nomination. I've decided yeah. that's mm-hmm. what we want. And then we yeah. want Kamala to 
because how humiliating it would be for that racist ass Trump to lose to a black, that racist and misogynist Trump mm. to lose to a black woman. Yeah. That w- it's tougher for him to be mean to a, a woman too. You know, I mean, he's definitely done it yeah. many times and will do it again. Yeah. But it's, it's harder publicly for him to pull it off. I feel like right. people, people are less likely to accept it. Right. You know, but I don't know. It is funny. Yeah. So, yeah. So are like, is that the, like the liberal thing? They're, they're like, they're doing, uh, they're going to run Kamala, you think? Or, well, we hope they do. Yeah. Are they doing like, although uh, we love Biden too, and Biden's doing a great job, and he's definitely not like, Dead. dead yeah. yeah he's currently dead yeah do you think um they're gonna do the debate and then you zoom out and like you see jeff dunham's hand fully up biden's ass controlling him i mean perhaps that might be yeah and then what if that was the it was like biden dunham right you know how about biden lena dunham yeah how about that <laughs> yeah. ticket yeah let's get yeah. let's or get dunham her. and peanut you yeah know? just dunham and his puppet right the, the other puppet. Yeah. Yeah. And Walter. Right. Yeah. But not Ahmed the dead terrorist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that'd be pretty cool, you know? Yeah. Well, the that first, was a little Islamophobic. Yeah. But. yeah. It was. Yeah. 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 He did that right after 9 11. Yeah. That was pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was nuts. But yeah, we hope Kamala runs and we love her. We are part of the K Hive. Have we ever mentioned that? The show, The K-Hive? Yeah. No, what is The K-Hive? It's like her stands. For Kamala? Yeah. Oh, the, the these are definitely real people, for sure. Yeah. 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 It's this a is thing. not a made-up thing Yeah, at all. no, we are part of The K-Hive. Okay. Yeah. We, we are. Wait, is that like they're like the Beehive or the Bayhive? The be- yeah. 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 But The K-Hive. K-Hive. Okay. Yeah. So we are part of that, and yeah, so we love Kamala, and we hope she destroys the Cheeto, if that's what the mm-hmm. the race is going to be. And people are, people are saying, like, oh, Kamala's doing a bad job. She's in over her head. She hasn't accomplished anything. It's like, you stop being misogynist. Yeah. Okay? Anyone who says that is misogynist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let her take a lap for being the first black woman. Pre- Did you see that clip of her president. being like, I love Venn diagrams. Did you see that? No. Where she was like, what? it looked like she was like high or something. It's like, yeah. I love Venn diagrams because there's like this circle on the left and then there's a circle on the right and then they intersect and there's part in the middle. And I just, I just love that. That does sound like a high person thing to say. Yeah. 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 She said when, what was, she the, was at some conference or something. And was there a Venn diagram like on a screen or something? I don't know, but I just saw this clip out of context okay. and it looked hilarious. Yeah. But That's awesome. yeah, she is just Brilliant. so smart and mm-hmm. so good at her job. And yeah, so we hope Kamala wins. But yeah, the Cheetos back. We don't like that the Cheetos back. So that's bad news. More bad news. There is, uh, guess what? Another mass shooting mm-hmm. at a Colorado Springs LGBTQ club that left five people dead. Children dying in the school. Yeah, that's yeah. not good. I mean, I feel like Jake Novak has to make another song, except children or adults dying in the gay bars. Yeah. But can you tell me why yeah. we're not trying to kill uh, the gays? I was trying to come up with a rhyme, but oh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't and, have to rhyme as long as it makes a good point. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And it's filmed in in nine K. Yeah. Video. Yeah. Like, and comes out the second the, the shooting second happens. The second the shooting happens. Like it's already done. God, like he made it because he knew it was going to happen. You know, how has Jake Novak just been silent all this time where all these tr- all these tragedies keep he's, happening? He's not and as he's woke just, as us. He's just. We're out here saying that things are bad when bad things happen. Right. Just in case you didn't know because you're And where is he? He's, I don't know, not saying anything unbelievable but yeah which means he's complicit yes he thinks it's good right that it's happening you know yeah but yeah this is obviously a another horrible senseless tragedy 
So, okay. so there, so it was a shooting at a gay yeah, bar. Yeah, some in guy Colorado. walked. Yeah, some guy went in with a rifle and. Was the and, guy like a gay guy or was he a homophobic guy? Um, the... I'm not sure what the guy was. I'm looking it up. We need to not like celebrate these people that do this, but also let's see a public profile on that person and do a documentary about the person that just did it. Yes. You know, that's, that's maybe important. a Netflix series. Yeah, also. let's do a Netflix series about the, the inside the mind of this psychopath. Yeah. Anderson Aldrich is the guy's name. Okay. And I'm not seeing any details about the guy. Mm -hmm. Let me do a quick search. But yeah, we hope I I I mean it sounds like pretty white. I mean when when things like that this happen like we a hate just crime, assume it's a white guy. Well, we we pray we're like please be white, please yeah, be white, please, please be God white. Be a white guy, yeah. And if it's not a a straight white right winger we're like all right this yeah, yeah on to the next to thing not talk about this yeah but okay 22 years old and let's see where is i just want to see a picture with this guy in like a trump hat you know that's yeah. just yeah what i want okay here what what we know I don't know if this is a reputable they always do that website. thing where they're like he played video games that were violent right you now it's like Okay, sure, but kind of a lot of people do that. They did that with like conservatives did that with like rap music back right. in the day. They're like, this guy that did this violent thing listened to the most popular kind of music that's currently out, and that's why he did it. So we need to regulate music. Yeah, it's a uh, no motive has been established yet. Mm. Well, obviously, it's homophobia. Yes. So and and so he we thinks guns are awesome. So yes. So as staunch allies of the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. our hearts stand. No homo, with, but yeah, yeah. We love gay people and all that gay shit. Yes, and we stand with you and your community. Mm -hmm. And if there are any, if, and if bisexual you, mm -hmm. women, if you were, who are who were affected by this emotionally. And you need, you know, someone to stand by you or maybe lay with you and hold you. Yeah. And maybe with one of your friends to come over mm -hmm. as well. Your lesbo friend that's like pretty hot. Yeah. 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 And I'll lay in between both of you guys. Right. And then you can both kind of rest in my nook. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll pet the top of your head and I'll just kind of push it down. Push your head to my crotch there. Yeah, with her consent. And I'll kind of do both at the same time. Just get down there. If she, if they wanted. Yeah, that. of yeah. course. I don't know if the lesbian one would want that. But. Well, they're like the other girl's down there, so it's like, well, you like lesbians, so that's where she is. So okay, you should get down there too. Right. You know. Right. And make out with each other, but with my penis in between you guys. Wow. For a barrier. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so so yeah, we are again our hearts go out to Colorado Springs and to mm -hmm. especially bisexual women who, you know, it it's not a safe country for you to be in. No. And there's it's a dangerous a, time for there's, bisexual there's women. There's a target on your back mm -hmm. and we want you to come over here and Let we will put that, a target yeah, on, on your, your back. back. Yeah, and we will bust on your back <laughs> <laughs> too. To end no, no November for us. Yes, I mm. like you bring that full circle. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, hit us up in our DMs if you are a bi queen. But speaking of countries that are not safe for gay people, Qatar is yeah. having the World Cup right now. Okay. And, I mean, they are notoriously anti-gay, right? Yeah. Being gay is illegal there. Yeah. And so uh, that's part of why all this controversy was there. David Beckham is like the ambassador to the so World like, Cup, and he took like a quarter of a billion dollars to promote it. Over wait, he took a quarter of a billion dollars to promote the what? the World Cup to be like oh. the the face of the World Cup. Mm. But people were saying like he was supposed to be like a a gay icon. He's not gay, but like 
he was supposed to be like an icon of the gay community. Because gay guys want to fuck him or something? I, I, I think so, yeah. What, why? So you, if you're a straight guy and Who's gay like guys want very wanna, attractive. Yeah. I mean, we don't know that David Beck, people are like, oh, David Beckham. He does Beck play soccer. That's pretty gay. It is pretty gay. Yeah. But people are like, oh, David Beckham is, is so attractive. <laughs> How am I supposed I don't, to? Fuck I don't know. Him? I don't know he's attractive. I don't know if he's. What, oh, what do you cute? want to fuck him? Huh? You think I'm gay? Yeah, I don't. I'm. I'm not fucking I'm not, gay. Okay. Ew, why would I don't you think ask girls me are that? hot. That's fucking disgusting. That's gross. I don't know. Dude. If David. Beckham's I only hot. like pussy. Yeah. Ugh. Wait, yeah. Why did you ask me that? Yeah. Don't get. I miss me with that shit. Yeah. Okay. Hey, your 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 friend's got nice tits. What do you think about that? Yeah. What if I said not that? Not so fun when I do it. Yeah. Huh, bitch? Would that be? Yeah. God. Ugh. So David Beckham is facing a lot of heat right now for taking $246 million to be the face of this Qatar World Cup where, yeah, gay people are not... So woke people are coming after him for being like, hey, you took a huge amount of money. of money, yeah. And this place that your sport is playing at that you have no control over is anti-gay. Yes, but... But at the same time, it's important to not criticize Qatar too much because yeah. that is their culture, right? Exactly. But so, also, like, don't the, the criticism should be at the guy, like playing soccer and getting money, not the country that has a problematic take. Yes. Like you use that problematic take as a, a weapon to cancel a guy that is making money. Yes. Because that's what we hate. Yes. You being more successful. That's right. That's capitalism. What, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your wealth should be even evenly distributed to us. Us. And we'll figure out who to give it to. Yeah. And then but don't look at our books. No. Because we don't have books. No. So Yeah. We, just we would gonna, probably go to jail if our finances were leaked. if we were yeah. But we're we're yeah. operating at a uh, zero we're a non profit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Like, there's no profits. Right. Yeah. And, but you can change that by donating to the slot fund. Mm -hmm. Also, I need, I know if you notice, I have glasses. I used to wear these in the early days of the podcast mm -hmm. before I got my lensless frames. Mm -hmm. But then those got broken, so I have to go back to actual glasses, which is just unacceptable. It's no good. So you have I don't to, even know who you are You have anymore. to give us money so I can... Buy fifteen dollar gas station glasses and pop the lenses out. Yes. Yeah. That, that makes perfect. That will sense. not come out of my pocket. No. So no, give because, us money. Yeah. We we put we do so much for you guys. Yeah. And just we don't get enough thanks for what we do. We certainly Especially don't. Uh, no one thanks us at all. Well, we get a lot of thanks from men. Yeah. And that's like yeah, that's cool, I yeah, guess. But, but it's not, not it doesn't doesn't hit the same as no thanks from women it hits and different when it a hits woman, different yeah when a woman says thanks right yeah right and that's what we don't get enough of this pot it's like we've been doing this for 121 episodes are you fucking kidding me yeah we should have women throwing themselves at us every day yeah this we should is be a having to feminist beat podcast. them off with a fucking bat yeah women should be beating us off yeah all the time it, i know it's, it's fucking bullshit. I know. Like but we've we've done over we've done two and a half years of this fucking podcast. Yeah. Why is there not a line out the door of women trying to fuck us? We deserve it. Yeah. It's fucking it, bullshit. You should fuck us. Come over here right now. Look at this fucking look at this. Look at this. This is all for you, and you won't even fuck me. This is fucking preposterous. Fucking come over here and say thank you for everything I'm doing for you. Why are you so fucking ungrateful? You stupid fucking bitch. Fuck you. Fuck me. God damn it. Stop hooking up with your, your, the chads. Oh, I'm a chad. I'm tall and I'm jacked and I'm a, I'm a, uh, alpha I, guy. I play football. I play football. I'm a quarterback I'm a for quarterback. my high school football right. team. Even, and I played in college yeah, a little enough. bit. Enough. Enough. How dare you? You need to fuck me instead. I'm nice. I'm so fucking nice. God damn it. You see how fucking nice I am? You see this? You see this? You see this niceness in my eyes? You see how nice? You see a little clear when I'm not wearing my glasses on? 
See you fucking guys like you bitch! How dare you! So, I know I got a little emotional there, but we are, it's just... This is an emotional podcast. It's an emotional podcast, mm -hmm. and, and that's what dismantling toxic masculinity is yeah. all about, like... Toxic Women men. love guys like that that show their show their emotions. Yeah, yeah, and and, and the emotions that the we show are just anger and rage. Right, but that's that's two emotions. Right, that's a broad range of emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those emotions <laughs> manifest in holes in the wall too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you said you wanted you wanted a guy expression. Who's, you wanted someone who's emotionally available. Oh, those emotions are always available. <laughs> They're always. Rage is always right always, around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Always yeah. right there. It's right there with you all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were we talking about? Um, we were talking about the soccer. Oh, yeah, guitar. yeah. The gay stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So we want to cautiously condemn Qatar for. Yeah, Qatar, that's kind of don't. Maybe do that yeah, so much. At least wait till the maybe, World Cup's over and the international maybe, look, stage is away for you to... stuff, maybe you don't have soccer at your country. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Also, so they built, you know, these billion, like hundreds of billions of dollars worth of new stadiums and they are like building new cities. Why do they for, do that? What's the, like, they can't just have it in a stadium already? Why does every well, time yeah, they it, do would, it has to be the biggest thing? Well, ever? yeah, it would make more it would make more sense <laughs> to do it that way. But, but no, these these uh, countries like Qatar, yeah, who, yeah, they have a lot of money and and they got they basically the stadiums were built with a lot of like borderline slave labor mm -hmm. from like these migrant workers who are coming in and thousands of them died during the construction. Um, they died. Yeah. Wow. From from being like. Like overworked, like yeah. starved, dehydrated. Yeah, they're like they come and like live live in like barracks. Wow, and and yeah, really that's fucked wild. up. Yeah. yeah, but again, that's their culture. Mm -hmm. So you know we don't. Yeah, and we love yeah. soccer. Yeah, because we're cultured boys. Right, right. Yeah, that's. When we go to a sports bar here in the United States, we were like, um, could you turn on soccer? We're those guys. Yeah, yeah. Or no, we say we go into a bar on, on a Sunday, uh -huh. and we're like, hey, turn on the football game. And they're like, the football game's already it's on. on. It's like, no, uh, uh, the real football. Yeah. Not American football. Yeah. Real football. Yeah, football, as, yeah. as some foreign dork would say it. Yeah. 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 We will say that. Yeah, and you're like, um, actually, no, we want not this football, real football, and just like look into the camera, and they're yeah. like, why do you keep looking away mm. and like into imaginary cameras? Like, mm. our life is a movie. Okay? That's right. We're that's how, that's the kind of boy we're dramatic yeah. boys. Yeah. Yeah. Last night was a movie. Mm. Yeah, last night was a movie. As just like it's something like an people say, an yeah. expression, yeah. yeah. Yeah, every day is a movie with the boys. That's right. Yeah, and if you're a woman out there who wants to come make a movie with us, oh, we'll make. Yeah, movies are being made whether you know about it or not. Well, you'll you know. know. What I'm saying, oh, yeah, you, just sit, we're telling you now. Yeah, you're in a movie. Yeah, and you'll be like, that's funny, and it's like, yeah, it is funny, but it's like also happening. Yeah, yeah, but with your knowledge. So, yeah, of course. Yeah. So hit us up in our DMs if you want to make movies with the boys. Mm -hmm. And so there was this clip I wanted to play of the FIFA president. He went in this an hour long press conference where he had this weird. Oh. So you got that right there. Yeah, yeah. This weird like rant. And I'm about to play it like in response because I think some reporters were asking him about like the controversies surrounding the World Cup. And by the way, they Qatar got that World Cup because of bribery. Like they they paid off FIFA. And then and that's why a bunch of FIFA officials were fired years ago. Really? But yeah. Wow. So that yeah, that's the only reason they were able to have it in a country like that. But so this is Gianni Infantino saying um, some interesting things 
in the on the eve of the the World Cup. So here it is. I have uh, very strong feelings. I can tell you that. Today I feel uh, Qatari. Today I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Today I feel uh, gay. Today I feel disabled. Today I feel uh, a migrant worker. Have uh, very strong feelings. <laughs> what? So he's showing solidarity with oh, okay. all the by just mentioning all those yes, things. Yes, by saying today I feel gay. Today I today feel I gay. feel disabled. Today and, I feel trans. Right. Today and it, I feel like a woman. And apparently he's saying that because he was bullied as a kid for having red hair. Okay, now he so, has no hair. Right. Yeah, he looks like a Mr. Clean right yes. now. Yes. So he's saying, like today I feel gay because they faced the same discrimination that he faced. For having red hair? Yes. Yeah, very similar right. discrimination. Right. Having red hair and being gay. Yes. Yeah. That's, uh, and if there's any just fiery redhead... Yeah, if you're a fire crotch chick... Women, yeah. Yeah. But like the hot kind. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. there's like not some... Not that pale, weird... Yeah, yeah, not... Like... Clearly a uh, recessive gene kind of lady. Yeah, yeah, you know not I mean? those, but like the yeah. hot ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's like it's red, but it's not like a natural red dye. Well, well, you know? well sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. No, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, redheads can Yeah, be, sometimes you can have a, can a natural redhead that, yeah. Yeah. And they can get it from us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they will get it yeah. from us. From yeah. both of us. Yeah. 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 Maybe at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll no have. No homo, but. Yeah, no homo at all. Maybe we'll we'll host the World Cup in France. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one way ticket. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the Women's World Cup at the mm -hmm. Eiffel Tower, yeah. mm -hmm. and and you're the cup yeah. that we will fill. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then you'll be left there. Yeah, and we're gonna come back, but <clears> and you, then you have to we, stay. Like right after, we might give you a speech like that guy. I feel right. disabled and gay, so I have to get the fuck. <laughs> right, out she's of like, here. "What are we? Are we gonna yeah, hang out like, again?" Yeah, and I'm just like, "Today I feel gay. Yeah, Today I feel disabled." Yeah. She's like, "Why are you saying you're gay and disabled in that voice?" Yeah. Like, "Today I, I going to block your number." Yeah. yeah. Today never talk to me again. Yeah. Mm. But then we'll circle back. We always do. At, yeah, for sure. I know. Yeah. 2 a.m. on a Saturday. Yeah. And we might we'll, open with that, too. We might be like, today I feel gay <laughs> and I need conversion <laughs> from gayness. Right. And we don't agree with con conversion therapy, and that's but bad. if we but were gay, we would be converted. We would let you, you convert us. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I know we wanted to keep things tight today. Were there mm. any poem? Oh. Submission. Of course there was. Okay, yeah. there's an ally of the show, Nick. Nick V. He he mentioned to me that he submitted a poem. Okay, let me see if I can find Nick V's poem here. A couple weeks ago. Okay. Did you find it? Yes. Okay. Okay, we have Nick V. Welcome to the Poetry Corner with the boys, okay? Okay, this haiku is from Nick V, friend of the show. Uh... And this is titled, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. You were doing Buddha's work out here. My haiku was inspired by you guys and, of course, women. Thank you, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. We love women. Minorities are sacred. White people fucking suck. And there's an extra line. Subway is nothing without Jared. Okay. Interesting. Or where did the what did where did the I, I'm subway not, thing come, I don't know. come in? Okay, I don't know. maybe maybe that might have been like him punctuating it or something. Oh, okay, but okay, yeah, but yeah, and that that also was that in haiku form or 
Not really. No, it was more free verse. Yeah, so it, was, it was a free verse, uh, freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but the, but yeah, thank you for the submission. Did Nick let's see. Did I read? Um, I think my favorite poem still is the Cole's Lament from Cole's Lament was great from last week. The yeah. three the three part poem. That was good too. Unbelievable. The breast cancer one. Yeah, the, yeah. Bre- the you have breast cancer. Yeah, what an amazing yeah. story that was. Yeah, that one was pretty fire. Um, okay, here's another poem from for the poetry corner from Neil. Okay, uh, this, it, he just titled it "More Haiku." Right to the poem. Okay, N- no frills here. It's not cheating if you come on her giant tits. I never touched her. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. I like that. That's a that's a solid right. poem. I mean, that's something we believe. It's not it's not cheating if we don't kiss yeah. or touch, right? Yeah. And other than our genitals. Yeah. And sometimes you're wearing a condom so you're not even touching them at all. Right. There's no contact. Man. Yeah. No. It's just like my lap is kind of touching your lap, but that's not sex uh, yeah. at all, really. <laughs> right. You know, because like your penis has to touch the walls of their vagina, but right. it's not touching because the condom is in the way. Right. So that no one's having sex. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense to me. I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, okay. So we have another poem from Tyler. Okay. Tyler wrote, uh, this is it's called Cheeto Man Haiku. Okay. Boys, love the show. Here you go. Okay, here's the Cheeto Man haiku. Mm-hmm. Orange, Cheeto Man, oppressing and revolting. Your face, my drywall. Nice. Mm-hmm. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh... Okay, someone someone uh, sent in that they were doing their part and wrote that they gave us a review, a little screenshot of them reviewing the podcast. It says, doing my part. Love you guys. Keep it up. They wrote, they gave us a five-star review, and then they checked that our podcast was life-changing. Oh, wow. Nice. So, which is clearly the only answer. Yeah, you yeah. Can use. Uh, I mean, it doesn't even say funny. <laughs> it just says... Well, I mean, enjoyable. This is, this is, I mean, it's not calming. Supposed, it's not. It is supposed to also be funny. calming. Yeah, yeah you're right. Not, it's not there's funny. Nothing if you're fun. laughing at this podcast, you're you're the problem. Fucked up. Yeah. yeah. This is a life changing pod. This is a self help podcast. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, Big All oh, okay. has, has sent another poem. It, it this is titled Avengers Assemble. Okay. okay. It says uh, the, and it's got all the like a bunch of different flags. And the gay flags and Ukraine flags, nice. mostly. Nice. And then black fists and angry faces and explosions. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. No. Punching a hole in the wall. Okay, so it says, uh, this is Avengers Assemble. The Cheeto is back. Let us impeach his fat ass with our poetry. Nice. Pretty good. I mean, I started, to, I was getting... It's getting a little like gay for a yeah. second, right? Uh huh. Like, yeah. Imp- like it. It sounded like we're not. Yeah. Like it. It's not. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I was. I just want to, you know, be we, clear yeah, that we're no not. Homo. Yeah. We don't okay, want to bang the Cheeto. Now that you say that. Yeah. Okay. We got another poem from Anthony, who had this to say. Uh, I believe he wrote Cole's lament. Oh, okay. He goes, boys, wow. Cole said my haiku was the best poem he's ever heard. High praise indeed. Yep. Well, get Stand a load by of, that. Get a load of this haiku. Love the show and come to Nashville. More than allies. Okay? That's what this poem is titled. This this poem is titled More Than Allies from Anthony. Okay? Saying no homo to three men in a small room does not make it so. Wait, so yeah, it sounds like kind of like an attack. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying that our no He's homo that we're doesn't gay. work? Yeah. He's saying we're kind of gay. Are you fu- are you saying, are you we're, saying gay? we're gay? Bro? What the fuck? We're not Dude, gay. We're not gay. Dude, we're not fucking gay. How did 
How do you accuse us of that shit? We're not fucking yeah, gay, Yeah, we're not okay? gay, bro. I'll rip well, your not, fucking dick off, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'll fucking fight you. I'll rip I'll, your dick off and I'll put it in my mouth and swallow it whole. What do you think about yeah. that? How gay would that be? I will fuck a girl right here on camera to yeah. show how not gay I am. I will send you several videos of me having sex with yeah. women. Would that prove it? You yeah. want to see me fucking other girls? Is that what you want? Yeah. Maybe you're the gay one, huh? Maybe, maybe you're gay. Yeah, maybe huh? I'll maybe come over there. Maybe you're projecting, motherfucker. I'll come maybe over you're there. gay. I'll come over to your place with a chick, and we'll bang right in front of you while you watch. Yeah, will you like that while you watch yeah. from the corner? And I'll bust immediately, not because that whole situation is hot to me, but because the woman sex is hot. Yeah. That's why. Maybe it'll be your girlfriend. Not the gay you being there thing. That'd be... Kind of, I'd be like, can you go over there? But I'm proving I'm not gay. Yeah. By fucking this lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she might try to say something. I'll be like, shh, shh, shh. Men are talking. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're not gay. And I don't know if that poem was an accusation, but yeah. it's unacceptable we are straight. if it was. We are straight boys. Yeah. Um, so we should probably. We got to wrap here. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I had some poems I could read, but. Send us more poems. We will uh, do more Poetry Corner with you guys. Um, send uh, send anything in you want to uh, twowokeboys at gmail.com. Um, we'll read your poems and we will give you advice, uh, all that shit. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys need like dating advice or you know shit like that because you guys don't have your shit together like we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, you're dumb, we're smart, and yeah. you need our expertise mm -hmm. on how to live your life because you don't know how. Yeah, and that's why you listen to this podcast, because yeah. self-help podcast. Yeah, so send yeah. us questions because yeah. you need <clears throat> answers because you're fucking you're stupid. You're a dumb idiot. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, send us five-star reviews on iTunes and Spotify. That always helps. Uh, thanks for the comments and all that stuff. We'll try to get to your comments and all that shit. Um Follow the boys on uh, Instagram, TikTok, t uh, Twitter, and uh, YouTube, okay? Um, and uh, follow allies of the show, Malcolm Kellner and Jeff Zinasek on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, what's it? TikTok, uh, TikTok all, all and, the things. Uh, Instagram yeah. there. Yeah, and YouTube and all that shit. Um, yeah, and let's see, all... Uh, ally of the show Jeff Zinsek will be in Salt Lake City this weekend um, in Utah opening for JP Sears come out to those shows that will be fun most of them are sold out I believe only one is not sold out at this point so uh, good luck getting a ticket to that if you're in Salt Lake um, and then go to jeffzinsek.com for other dates um, anything else is that good uh, yeah nothing else for uh, me all right, that being said, thank you for listening to episode 121 of the Two Woke Boys podcast. I am Chris. I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke, Woke Boys. Boys.